So we're going to look at a stimulated neuron now. We just finished looking in the last video at what a resting neuron looks like, so keep that part in mind, and we'll look at a stimulated neuron. And when I'm in class, I'll usually make the kids get up and do the wave, um, because the idea is that things move in and out of the cell membrane like that, not kind of one ion racing down. So let's look at that. So right now, everything's resting. You've got sodium on the outside of the neuron. This is a, a little section of an axon. So for example, if the axon looks like this, let's say here's the axon and the terminal and branches. So here's the cell body and these are the dendrites. And let's say the impulse goes this way. We're looking at a little section of the axon. And so out here, that's the sodium that's here. And then on the inside of the neuron, you've got potassium. So a nerve impulse happens when ions move through the membrane. An electrical disturbance causes sodium channels to open. So there's this is a lipid bilayer with little proteins in it, and the proteins have tops on them. And when there's an electrical disturbance, the, the pores open. And so they are, you, I guess I drew this kind of small compared to the sodium. But anyway, um, the sodium moves as always. I guess not as always, but um, when there's no energy put in, the sodium moves from a high concentration to a low concentration. And so you can draw arrows in. Let's say the impulse is moving along this way, and it's right here right now. This part of the neuron hasn't um, gotten stimulated yet. Okay, and so what you have is all of these sodium ions going in, because um, a bunch of little pores in the, in the membrane opened up, and the sodium just goes from high outside to low inside. And so that is um, facilitated diffusion because it's going high to low and it's going through a protein. Oops. So this is called facilitated diffusion. That's different, if you remember, um, from simple diffusion because simple diffusion goes right through the lipid bilayer. And it's different from active transport because active transport requires energy. This facilitated diffusion thing is just high to low. So you can write in no energy, no ATP needed. It takes energy to maintain this, but just to open up the sodium pores um, and sodium to go in, no energy. So here are the sodium channels opening. These were um, lowered before, so they were like this, covering the whole thing up. Now they've moved backwards, and there's a nice um, hole for the sodium to go through. So they go again high to low. Whoa. That's cool stuff. Okay, so here's a picture of the sodium having just moved in. So this part is stimulated. And this whole part is still resting. The impulse has not gotten here yet. So see how the sodium has moved in in this spot? The impulse hasn't gotten to this spot yet, so it looks the same as it did before. So here's what the charges look like. You've got um, pluses that have moved in here, and they, they balance out the negatives. So the voltage difference between here and here is really not so great, whereas over here, the voltage difference between the positive part and the negative part is pretty great because that's more positive, that's more negative. So then the impulse continues. The electrical changes in the membrane right here cause nearby sodium channels to open. So the impulse moves along. So the electrical disturbance here that was caused by the charges moving in causes the pores to open over here. So now sodium moves in there. And the impulse moves along. So this part's still resting. This part's now the stimulated part. And this part, something else happens here, but it takes a while to go into that, so I think I'm going to skip that with you. So look at the sodium ions moving in. Cool, huh? And this part gets fixed. Um, it, something kind of funky happens with the potassium, but anyway. Um, and then it ends up getting fixed, so you have... Um, sodium-potassium pump fix that with active transport. So we'll look at that in a minute, in a minute. But look at the impulse moving along. And this is just a cool picture of a neuron. This is the cell body, and these are probably dendrites, and that's probably the axon, I guess. So the sodium-potassium pumps pump puts the sodium, I haven't told you that the potassium moved, but it did, the sodium and potassium ions back where they belong after the impulse moves through, and that takes ATP. So this is called active transport. So what's happening, hopefully I have a picture. Whoops. Well, anyway, I'll draw you a picture. So let me go backwards. Um, let's go to here. Okay, so what actually happens here is 
the potassium comes out which is kind of weird and the sodium stays in and I can talk to you in class about why that is it's actually kind of a cool thing um, but then you have so that was just high to low then you have the sodium potassium pump forcing every single sodium out and every single potassium in and that takes energy and so that's what this part is called so called active transport and you should write in this takes ATP and so that's a little ATP coming over okay please write to be collected in five minutes well maybe not on video huh so the impulse moving along the axon is like blank because hmm interesting okay we're gonna skip that and I'm gonna skip this all these. okay actually this is a good place to start stop because how an impulse moves from a neuron to a target cell is sort of a, a different topic 